Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at flashing a custom ROM on our Pixel 2 right here. Now again, I think now it's time to uh, spice things up a little bit, uh, and we're going to flash, of course, the most spiciest ROM out there, Resurrection Remix. Now this is an unofficial build, if I can bring that up real quick, and basically um, everything works pretty well. They fixed some bugs recently, some crashes that I had earlier on this year. Uh, which I do have a previous recording of, but didn't manage to get it out into a video uh, because I thought I'd probably show a demonstration instead on how to flash this ROM. Well, pretty briefly, I, sh I suppose, because this could change at any time. So my first rule of thumb is to, of course, read everything on the XDA post. You never know if they change any instructions or things like that. So don't just follow my video. Uh, go to this the thread here and read the installation instructions. So I'm going to be following whatever is written on the website here. And uh, from there, we can get started. So some basic things about Resurrection Remix is that it is probably one of the most customizable ROMs out there, like right out of the box. And uh, yeah, I really like that. It brings back the old days where you would install tweaks from Cydia, stuff like that. So this already has Google Apps, or some of them installed already, so you won't be flashing gaps and uh, Magisk will need to be flashed a little bit later after the first boot. So of course we're going to try this out right now, and there are a few downloads that we need to do. So first off is the ROM of course, and you can download it down here. And it looks like this, and you just click on the green download button and all that. And also in the installation instructions, it, recomm it is recommended that we flash the latest factory image first and boot into Android just once. So we're going to do that for the sake of following all the instructions. So this video will be a little bit longer, unless I cut some out. But yeah, we'll be downloading the latest version, or the latest factory image. Just go here on the right hand side and select Walleye, and then select the factory image that is most appropriate for you, and hit the blue uh, link button down there. Okay, so this is going to look a little bit messy, but I will assume that you have also the SDK platform tools, which I'll have a link in there down below as well. You, we have our ROM zip file. We have our factory image that we're going to flash. We have uh, Magisk here already downloaded and ready to be copied over to flash later. And uh, what's over here? Ah, TWRP of course. You're going to need that. So to get started first up, we're going to go to our platform tool zip file. And if you already have this extracted somewhere, you don't need to extract it again. Just use it how you used it before. I'm going to extract the entirety of the platform tools, just so we don't leave out any important files. This shouldn't take too long. There we are, it's almost done. And once it's copied over, we can pretty much just close the uh, platform tools zip file here. And we're going to open up the platform tools folder, and inside the explorer window, we're going to click on the address bar here, and then type in cmd, and that'll open up a command prompt window. Now please take note that yours might look different from mine, that's only because I'm using a different uh, console emulator, just so I can uh, zoom and do other cool things. But anyways, uh, the next thing you want to do, of course, is to back up anything on your device that is remotely important, because you are probably going to, well, it says your data will be wiped once we start flashing the factory images, so I recommend that you back up anything that you want, your photos, your downloads, uh, app data, if you're already rooted, you can use an app such as Swift to backup. If I can just bring that up real quick, I really like this one, it has a minimal interface, I don't think it stores multiple versions of apps, which is a bit unfortunate, but uh, if you're rooted, you can back up apps and the app data, uh, just like so, and however you wish. But be sure to copy everything off from your phone onto your computer, because your phone will be wiped. So uh, I'm just going to have the instructions on my other monitor, so we can uh, do this properly. And we're going to start by flashing the factory image, like it says. So we're going to reboot our phone into the bootloader here. So to do that, I'm going to have the USB cable plugged in, as you can see, and then I'm going to tap on restart. And once the screen goes black or freezes, like now, hold the volume down button until our phone boots into the bootloader. Now this may take a few moments for it to do that, so just keep holding it, even though it seems quite long. And there we are, you're going to be in the bootloader soon after, and we're going to flash the factory images. So we are going to get to our factory image. So I've extracted it already. So these are the files inside. Sorry, if I just show it real quick, this is what the factory image will look like. And when you open it, 
you'll get this folder. You want to open up the folder and just extract everything inside, uh, outside somewhere, onto your desktop or whatever. So you'll have these files like so. We're going to flash the bootloader first. So we're going to type in fastboot devices just to check that our device is connected uh, in fastboot, which it is, and that's good. Then we're going to type in fastboot flash bootloader. Leave a space at the end and drag in our bootloader image from the factory image and then hit enter and that'll flash all the stuff we need uh, for the bootloader and we're going to reboot back into the bootloader so we can type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader like so I'm just gonna move this back up here okay so once you're back in the bootloader we can now go ahead and flash also to the other bootloader so we can type in fastboot flash bootloader uh, underscore B in this case. Uh, if you can take a look real closely, my current boot slot is A, and that means if I need to flash stuff to my other slot, it will be labeled slot B. So just keep in mind, just do the opposite letter. There's only two slots, so if it says B, you flash A, which is your other slot, and if you're on A currently, then B is your other slot, okay? So uh, that's all you need to watch out for, pretty much. So once you have that typed up, we can hit enter. Oops, no we can't. We need to drag in the same bootloader image and flash that as well. Once you've done that, we'll reboot back into the bootloader as well. Like so, you can press up on your keyboard to go back to previous commands. Now once you've done that, we can go ahead and flash the radio in the same fashion. So we'll type in fastboot, flash radio, leave a space at the end and drag in our radio image, hit enter. We're gonna reboot back into the bootloader once more. Once your phone's back into the bootloader, we're going to flash the other radio partition. So we'll type in fastboot flash uh, radio underscore B or underscore A, depending on which slot you're currently on. We'll drag in our radio image. And also, don't forget to leave a space after the partition. And once you've done that, we're going to reboot into the bootloader once more. And from there, we're going to flash the, well, the stock images from our image zip file. That's included with our factory image. So how we're going to do this a special way. We're going to type in. So in essence, we need to flash the images inside that zip file to both the A slot and B slot. And so these are the commands that you'll need to type regardless of what slot you're in. So we're going to set the current slot to A. So I'm going to do this by typing in fastboot uh, double dash set dash active equals underscore A like so, and you should see setting current slot to A. Now you should do this even if you're already on A, just for the sake of uh, having everything the same. And then we're going to reboot back into the bootloader. And also, so for example, if you're on slot B, verify that it now says slot A on your phone. And once you've done that, we can go ahead and flash the images. So we type in fastboot, double dash skip dash reboot and leave a space after that and then do another double dash and then type in skip dash secondary like so and then type in the word update and then drag in our image zip file and hit enter now this uh, will flash all the images inside that image zip file to your current slot so in my case A or in everyone's case it should be A right now and then afterwards uh, and so it also won't flash the system other image to our B partition and what we'll do next is do the the same thing for the opposite slot so in this case slot B and then we're going to change it back to slot A uh, where we'll flash our ROM and do the rest of that afterwards okay that was quick and the next thing we need to do is um, uh, change our slot to slot B. So we type in fastboot double dash set dash active equals underscore B like so. And you can see that the boot slot hasn't changed in the bootloader so we need to reboot back into the bootloader. We type in fastboot reboot bootloader hit enter and then we should see that our boot slot is now B down here. Once you've confirmed that we're going to go ahead and use the same command that we use to flash the images to the A slot so we just press our up arrow key a few times and hit enter. Now this should flash everything to our B slot 
which is our current slot. Now that we've flashed everything uh, at the factory image to both our slots, we're going to reboot our phone into the recovery mode so we can wipe it uh, before we go ahead and reboot back into Android. So I'm going to do that right now. All you have to do is go over to your phone and press the down arrow keys until you get to recovery mode and then press the power button to select it. Wait for our phone to boot into the recovery mode and we're going to do a uh, factory reset from there. Now this is the pipe part that actually wipes all your data and um, yes please make sure you've backed up your stuff before proceeding past this point so we can hold the power button and press the up arrow key to bring up the recovery menu and I'll just zoom in real quick here now from here what you want to do is select uh, wipe data slash factory reset use the arrow keys to sorry the volume buttons to go up and down and press or to select to use the power button. So I'm going to select Wipe Data Factory Reset, go down, select Yes, and uh, watch the cool stuff get wiped. So our phone will get wiped and um, then it should take us back to the menu and from there we're going to reboot our phone uh, into Android. So it should be on the factory image that we had just flashed, sorry, and then we're going to press power to select reboot now. So from here we'll let our phone reboot back into Android this first time like in the installation instructions and then after that we'll boot into TWRP and flash the ROM. Alrighty so our phone has booted into Android. We won't bother with the setup process we're going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader. So we're going to do the same thing we're going to hold power, tap on restart and hold volume down once the screen turns black or it freezes like so and our phone should boot uh, straight into the bootloader after that just give it a second as well okay now we're in we're gonna go back to our computer here where we can actually clean up some of our workspace thank goodness so we can close or minimize our factory image folder we don't need that anymore all we need is our ROM so the ROMs and TWRP Magisk oops eventually what did I do so all we need now is our TWRP images, our ROM itself, the stuff in our Magisk folder perhaps, and what's in here, our platform tools. So yeah, using the same um, command prompt window that you already opened, we're going to now boot the TWRP image. So I've downloaded the latest one down here, and to flash this, or sorry, to boot this, I'm going to type in fastboot boot, and uh, I'll just bring up the other view. So yeah, so type in fastboot boot and then drag in the TWRP image afterwards and hit enter and our phone should automatically boot into TWRP. Just give it a while, it may take a few moments for that to boot into TWRP as well. Cool, so it says a modified system partition. We're going to swipe to allow modifications, easy peasy. And from here, we are actually going to, let's just sideload the ROM uh, so we can do that. Let me just bring up the instructions again. And basically it says, we go to wipe. So we need to do a, a pre-wipe here. We're going to do wipe and then we're going to swipe for a factory reset. Like so. And then hit back and back to the main menu. And we're going to sideload the ROM. And type in or tap on advanced, tap on ADB sideload, and then start uh, swipe to start sideload. And once it says starting ADB sideload feature down here, we can go to our computer and type in let's just say ADB devices just to double check that our device is connected in the sideload mode. And we are. And once you've verified that, let's uh, locate where our ROM is and we're going to sideload our ROM. And to do that, we're going to type in ADB sideload, leave a space afterwards, and then drag in the latest version of the ROM, and hit enter. And now that will pretty much stream the zip file from our computer to our phone, and you should be able to see it uh, getting sideloaded. This may take a while, it's only at 4%. And uh, once it's done, uh, we're going to reboot our phone. So I'm going to fast forward this until that happens. 
But in the meantime, grab yourself a cup of tea and uh, wait till this finishes. Alrighty, so it looks like our side load has finished. Now in the case that the side load is a little bit dodgy, it doesn't really work, you can actually just try pushing the ROM uh, Resurrection Remix zip to our SD card and flashing it the more traditional way. But uh, we're going to uh, have our fingers crossed and believe that the side load had completed successfully. It does say side load complete. So from there, all we have to do as it seems is to reboot our system and don't flash Magisk right away. We're not going to install the TWRP app because I don't like bloat and we're going to sit here, cross our fingers and hope for the best. Okay, so it looks like uh, everything has worked out just fine. We're going to allow USB debugging already. Let's see if we can skip the setup. Oh yeah, still got it. Alright, so let's take a look at, I guess, the basic things that are installed right after a fresh install of Resurrection Remix. Down here we have uh, Trust. I think that's part of Lineage OS. Can't really remember. I think it was. Anyways, here are the apps that are installed. The only Google apps I can see are probably maybe the camera, Hangouts, phone, oh, not phone, and the Play Store, and wallpapers, I think. So that is it, but we're, we're not here for Google apps. We're here for the customization that Resurrection Remix allows us so gracefully, and graciously. And here it is. There's actually lists and lists of just configurations that you can do. Now I'll tell you a little bit of uh, some uh, anecdotal stuff. Last time I was using this with the earlier build of Resurrection Remix, I did run into some stability issues. I had a lot of system crashes. Well, a lot more than usual, but that would be quite obvious, right? But I hopefully this uh, is a little bit better this time. But there's always some things that irk me about, I guess, custom ROMs. It's like very nitpicky details that you probably wouldn't even care about, right? But uh, you got to choose whichever ROM makes you feel at home, and I think this one does it quite well. I didn't really understand the point of, you know, Lineage OS or things like that, unless you want to go like a, a Google list setup or something like that, or if you appreciate some of the features that Lineage OS has and where they focus on, rather than what, say, even Google's Android or Resurrection Remix does as well. So uh, each to their own, and hopefully you can just find the perfect match for you. But I like to customize everything, so I do like Resurrection Remix. So, yeah, I'll be playing for this with this for an hour or two, or for the rest of the day, and I'll do a follow-up, a quick follow-up, about my experiences so far with this, especially in terms of stability, because battery, don't really care about that, as long as it's not absolutely garbage, and customization, I mean, there's a whole heap of it, as well. So I guess to finish off this uh, segment, we're going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader and we're going to reboot our phone using Magisk. So to do that, we're going to turn off our phone, we're going to tap on restart, hold down the volume down button. That's right, and then we're going to boot up the TWRP image just like we did before. So you know what, I'm just going to boot up the same image, use the same command, and afterwards I'm going to type in adb side load, we'll leave a space after that, and drag in the Magisk zip file just to get it ready. Don't press enter now. Wait for our phone to boot into TWRP. Cool, and then we're going to tap on advanced adb side load and swipe to start the adb side load. I'm going to press enter on my keyboard, and we're going to flash Magisk. Awesome. So I'm going to go back and back and reboot system. And then we're just going to quickly have a look and see if Magisk works properly. And then I think we'll leave it at that for now. Okay, our phone's booted up very quickly as usual. Let's see our Magisk manager pop up. There it is. I'm going to tap on Magisk Manager. Okay. 
close, Magisk has been installed properly, and let's just see if Safety Net uh, passes on our custom ROM. It doesn't have to, but it'd be nice to have that benefit. And yeah, so you can go ahead and use Android Pay and other apps that require, you know, Safety Net being okay. So that's it for this video, guys. Stay subscribed and stay tuned for a extremely quick review of this ROM that should be coming somewhat soon, maybe in a few days, uh, once I get to finalize everything. But this is how you install Resurrection Remix on your Pixel 2. And as always, you can join me and a few others over at Discord, my Discord server. Link is down below at the very bottom. Maybe I should move it up to the top. But um, as for that, you can also um, leave any suggestions that you might have for future videos down in the description or on Discord. And as always, happy flashing.